palace that's home to a king and his beautiful queen. But they don't live alone in that castle of stone. There are quite a few more to be seen. Two royal children, a prince and princess, give a helping hand to the queen. While the king has three pets, they're the strangest you've met. Three dragons, all scaly and green. To visit this palace, we don't have to go through woods or along rocky paths. There's a much quicker way, we just have to say, let's go maths. Let's go maths. Hello. Let's see which number our song is about today. There's one king, one queen, one prince, and one princess. So our song today is about the number one. I have got a teddy bear sitting on my shelf. There are no other toys with him. He's all by himself. He's got one eye and got one ear. He's almost lost his hair. But I still love to play with him, my one little teddy bear. One little teddy bear, yes, just one, sitting over there. Can you see him on his own, my one little teddy bear? I once had three teddy bears when I was two years old. One was blue and one was white and one was brown and gold. I left the blue one on a bus, the white one had a tear. But I still have the other one, my one little teddy bear. One little teddy bear, yes, just one, sitting over there. Can you see him on his own, my one little teddy bear? Teddy bears come in all shapes and sizes, don't they? Some are small and some are big. But if the king in our story today had ever had a teddy, you can be sure it would have been the biggest teddy he could find, because the king always believes that the biggest is the best. Our story today is called A Sunflower for the King. One day, as the king was walking with the queen in the palace garden, he got a surprise. There in front of him were some of the biggest flowers he'd ever seen. They were so tall, the king had to look up at them to see their big round faces. I've never seen flowers so big or so beautiful, he said to the queen. They have faces as bright and cheerful as the sun. The queen smiled. Perhaps that's why they're called sunflowers, she said. Hmm, said the king as he looked at the sunflowers closely. I must have one of these. But they are yours, said the queen. I know, said the king. I mean, we must have one where we can see it every day without having to come out into the garden. But sunflowers grow in the garden, said the queen. Where else would you keep one? Well, I suppose, I mean, spluttered the king. You see, said the queen, there is nowhere else. Yes, there is, said the king. Let's have one in the palace. The palace, said the queen in surprise. You can't keep a sunflower in the palace. The king smiled. When you are king, you can have sunflowers anywhere you like, he said. The queen knew it was a silly idea to have a sunflower in the palace, but she waited while the king went off to find a spade to dig up his sunflower and a bucket to plant it in. I think this one will do, said the queen when the king returned, and she pointed to the smallest sunflower of all. But the king shook his head and pointed to the biggest sunflower. That's the one, he said. But it's much too big, said the queen. Nonsense, said the king. This is the sunflower I want, and this is the sunflower I'm going to have. When they got the sunflower back to the castle, it was much too tall to go through the front door. Oh dear, said the king, now what are we going to do? We could put it back in the garden, said the queen hopefully. No, snapped the king, there must be a way. We could always turn it on its side, said the queen. Oh, of course, said the king, that's just what I was thinking. So the king took one end and the queen took the other and they twisted and turned and pushed and pulled the sunflower through the big front door of the castle. Isn't it beautiful, said the king proudly. 
What are you going to do with it, asked the prince. Well, we're going to stand it up, said the king. What else would you do with a sunflower? But it's too big, said the princess. It's much too tall to stand up in this room. That's just what I've been telling him, said the queen. Nonsense, said the king. Come on, we'll soon see if it's too tall or not. But no matter which way they twisted it or which way they turned it, the sunflower would not fit in the room. The queen was right. It was too tall. The king thought about the problem. You know, it isn't really too tall, he said at last. It's just that, well, there's a bit too much of it. Now, if we were to chop a bit off... A bit off where? asked the princess. Well, a bit off the top, I suppose, said the king. The prince laughed. You can't do that, he said. You'll chop its head off. Oh, uh, uh, did I say top, said the king. Perhaps I meant the bottom. Yes, that's it. We'll chop a bit off the bottom. But if you do that, you'll chop its roots off, said the queen. Then it'll wither and die. Oh, bother, said the king. There must be something we can do. I've got it, said the king at last. We'll dig a hole in the floor. If we dig a hole in the floor, the sunflower can stand in that. You're not digging any holes in my floor, said the queen. Oh, I thought you might say that, said the king. That's why I've thought of something else. I'm very glad to hear it, said the queen. We'll make a hole in the ceiling, said the king, just big enough for the sunflower's head to go through. Oh, no, you won't, said the queen. Oh, bother, said the king. Bother, bother, bother. All right, if you're all so clever, you think of something. I'm going to bed. The next morning, the sun was shining through the curtains when the king woke up. Good morning, said the queen, as she brought him his early morning cup of tea. What's good about it, said the king grumpily. If you open your windows, you'll find out, said the queen. The king climbed out of bed and he drew back the curtains. There, outside, smiling straight into his bedroom, was the big, round face of his sunflower. My sunflower, said the king. How did it get there? We planted it outside your bedroom window, said the queen. Now you'll be able to see it every morning when you wake up. Oh, thank you, said the king. Thank you very much. I knew it was the best place for it. I wonder if you've ever seen a sunflower. It looks quite like this picture here, though a real sunflower would be a lot taller than that. It needs a tub to stand in, and then it's got a long, strong stem and a big round face on the top. I've got some blocks here with pictures on. They're pictures of parts of sunflowers. I wonder if I've got enough to make another sunflower just like the first one. Well, there's a tub for the sunflower to stand in and a stem, but I don't think that stem's long enough. So I'm going to add a bit more stem and then some extra stem again and a big round face on the top. And I think I might have enough blocks left over to make another sunflower. There's a tub and a stem and a big round face on the top. There we are, three sunflowers. But that's not right, is it? Because this sunflower is a lot taller than this one. And yet this sunflower is a lot smaller than both the other two. Now, if I take a bit of the stem from this tall sunflower and I add it to the short sunflower, that should make it right. There we are, one, two, three sunflowers, all the same height. Three sunflowers. That's two more than the king had outside his bedroom window. Bye-bye. Goodbye to the king, goodbye to the queen and the two royal children for now. Dragons, four cooks, and their cookery books, and to five little kittens, meow. Goodbye to six horses, seven drummers, two, eight soldiers, and guard by the path. Goodbye to nine ducks, till again we sit.